Hey guys, this is James and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a highlighting text animation on your screenshot in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're making a lot of explainer video, then this technique might help you. Here in Adobe Premiere Pro, I have already made a project and I have made a new sequence and this is the screenshot that I'm going to animate, right? So I have, uh, if, if I delete this one, then I have to just bring back this screenshot here. This is just a JPG screenshot of a website. So first I need to scale up the screenshot a little bit, maybe this much. Then I'll change the position so that it looks great. So here is the screenshot. Now I want to make a highlighting text animation. To make a highlighting text animation, you need to make a rectangle, right? We are going to use the rectangle tool, right? So from here you have to select this one, which is the rectangle tool. If you don't see, just click and hold, then click on the rectangle. Then just click and drag where you want to highlight the text. I want to highlight this much of this portion of text. So I'm making a rectangle from here, right? Now you have to go to window and from here you have to enable essential graphics panel. From here, if you click on the shape one, then you'll see a whole bunch of settings. From here, you have to select the color that you want to use. If you want to use green color, you can select green color. If you want to use yellow color, I think yellow color will look great if we want to highlight any text so i'm just selecting yellow color so now you need to adjust the duration right so from here i'll just click and drag this portion and click and drag this portion to match with my screenshot duration so i want to make a highlighting animation but i cannot see the text how you can see the text we need to change the blend mode of the rectangle layer which is the v2 right this one select this one then go to effects control panel if you don't see effects control panel then you have to go to window and from here you have to select effects control this panel will appear from here just go here on this section which called opacity then from this drop down menu select darken so now we can see the text so if i play it back you will see this is just flat text animation with yellow color highlight right but we want to animate the highlighting portion to animate the highlighting portion again you have to select the graphic layer which is the v2 track then go to graphics and from here first you need to change the anchor point of this rectangle because we are going to animate that right so if you select here and then if you click on the anchor point you will see there is a circle little circle right you have to click this circle and then you have to drag it here on the beginning portion of the highlight just here now we are ready to animate the section to animate it again go to the effects panel and from here go scale then make sure you have unchecked uniform scale then click on the scale width and then for a few frames maybe this much then again add another keyframe then get back to the first keyframe which is the beginning portion and then just reduce this section now if i play it back You'll see there is a text animation right so it is looking great if i want to show you on a bigger scale then i have to just scale it up so now if i play it back so it is looking great this is just a flat rectangle if you want to roughen the edge a little bit then you can just add another effect go to effects panel if you don't see effects panel then you have to go to window and then you have to enable effects this panel will appear then search for roughen edge which is this one just double click or click and drag it here on this second layer then get back to your effects control panel from here just change the value of border maybe a little bit then you can change this one a little bit maybe this much and then just change this section to get rough and edge around the rectangle so that it looks great right if i play it back now you'll see it is looking much convincing now if you just want to animate the screenshot with the highlighting text what you can do you can just make a nest of this section select both layers then right click and then click here on the nest okay again get back to effects control panel and search for basic 3d which is this one click and drag it here now from here you can change the swivel tilt right maybe Swivel a little bit distance this much then click here on this stop watch to add a keyframe 
then forward few frames and then change the swivel maybe this much right then click and drag this second keyframes at the end of your track just like that now if i play it back you see the screenshot is animating and again there is a highlighting text if you want to speed up the animation of the screenshot then you can just change the gap between these two keyframes right now if i play it back it is looking better right so that's it that is how you can make highlighting text animation in adobe premiere pro so if you're working with a client who make a lot of explainer video then i think this technique will help you that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye